Randy Moss, NBC Sports horse racing analyst. He joins us now. He'll be back on the track Saturday night, 8.30 Eastern on NBCSN for the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series live from Churchill Downs. Randy, thanks for joining us. Um, Where do you want to start with what happened over the weekend? Two Triple Crown winners in a four-year period, yep. three-year period, really. But that's that's pretty phenomenal, isn't it? I mean, we wait 37 years for American Pharaoh, 2015, and then 2018. I mean, here we go. It's pretty cool. Is it a good thing for the sport? You know, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, in uh, the, the, the TV ratings for Justify were a little bit lower than they were for American Pharaoh. Of course, it's network television. I think all TV ratings are kind of in a slow decline. Uh, the crowd, I mean, when Justify won, yeah, there was, an, there was an outburst at Belmont Park, and there was, you know, the crowd noise was big, as you would expect. It wasn't quite the level that we saw for American Pharaoh, which is logical. There were 37 years of pent-up frustration for people at the track in 2015. Uh, it, it may not necessarily be the best thing for thoroughbred racing, but I think as we pointed out on the telecast, historically, uh, these triple crowns tend to happen in bunches. And during that 37 year period, I, I think if you would, if you could go back in a time capsule and you could rerun all of those Derby Preakness and Belmonts, you probably would have come up with four or five triple crown winners that should have been that were it not for just odd circumstances, it didn't happen. So I think we're kind of starting to see that play out now. All right, rapid fire here. Uh, was there a horse held out of this race that, that could have won, that helped justify winning by not being in the race? Yes, yes. His name was Audible. Uh, he was third in the Kentucky Derby, to be fair. Uh, American Pharaoh uh, handled him in the Derby. Uh, but Audible's trained by Todd Pletcher, who's, uh, whose horses that don't win the Derby typically are extremely tough to beat in the Belmont Stakes. But Audible is owned by the same ownership group that has Justify. Uh, there was an injury that was announced uh, that Audible had suffered that a lot of people, a lot of other trainers on the backstretch sort of snickered at that, you know, they're, they're convinced that the only reason Audible wasn't in the Belmont Stakes is the fear that he would upset Justify. And we just heard on the air, uh, the Windstar Farm people tell us on Saturday that, lo and behold, Audible's going right back in Todd Fletcher's part on Tuesday. Nice. So uh, the injury obviously uh, wasn't much, if it was anything at all. Would he have won the race the way the pace played out in favor of Justify? It's hard to say that Audible would have won but it's entirely possible. Final 30 seconds. Uh, explain the stud fee of the window of being a, uh, a stud for Justify. How many years? Uh, well, he'll be retired to stud almost certainly at the end of this year, uh, just like American Pharaoh was. And the money involved, Dan, is just absolutely staggering. I mean, look at American Pharaoh. He retired after winning the Breeders' Cup Classic in 2015. His stud fee was listed as private. It's known to be $200,000 per breeding, and he got 200 breedings in his first year in the United States. There's $40 million right there. Then they sent him to Australia because the Australian breeding season, just like the regular seasons, the Southern Hemisphere and Northern Hemisphere, are opposite. So they put him on a plane, sent him to Australia, and bred him to a whole bunch of mares in Australia. So it's literally a cash machine when you have horses of the caliber of American Pharaoh and Justify. And Justify has an even better pedigree than American Pharaoh had, and he's a better-looking horse than American Pharaoh was. So the money involved is amazing. Randy, thank you. Uh, we'll be watching Saturday night with the uh, Breeders' Cup from Churchill Downs. It's uh, Randy Moss, NBC Sports Horse Racing Analyst. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.